Welcome back. The Museum of Ice Cream is an immersive theatrical experience uniting everyone in the name of the frozen treat. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> CBS 13's Ashley Williams has more on ways to satisfy your sweet tooth. Sprinkles and unicorns right in the heart of San Francisco. The Museum of Ice Cream, the perfect place to bring the family. You know, we've been talking about the poor air quality because of that Butte County fire, but this just might be the place to bring the family for a fun experience indoors. I have Danica here with me, the general manager. Danica, why is this experience so unique? Well, I can give you 100 million reasons, sprinkle reasons. You get to jump in a pool full of sprinkles. You get to ride unicorns, play with gummy bears, uh, touch the clouds. I mean, why wouldn't you want to come here? Now again, theatrical, immersive is like the perf two perfect words really to describe what people could get when they arrive here. But tell me also too a little bit about this sprinkle pool that people really love and that I think we see all over social media. Yeah, this is not just the pool. This represents dreams. Our founder, Mary Ellis Bunn, dreamt of swimming in a pool of sprinkles, and she made it come to life and makes magic every day here in San Francisco whenever someone get, jumps into that pool. Oh, I love dreams coming alive right yeah. here in San Francisco. And again, you guys, the Museum of Ice Cream is here to stay in San Francisco forever. You guys just announced this just yes. a few months ago. Exactly. We are so lucky to be welcomed here in the Bay Area and to call this place our home. All right, fantastic. Thank you yeah, so much. All right, I'm going to go ahead and toss it back to you, and I'm going to actually go get into the pool. And the earrings. Oh, I know. They I were think so. so. Fun. I yes, think they nice were. Right. Hey, that's a great way to spend some time inside with all the smoke out there. It sure is. All right, thanks for being with us. Of course, we're back here today on the CBS 13 News at 4. And we'll see you then. Have a good afternoon.